Going to load up on my laptop now. There we go. Right, hello everybody, hello. This is another car review coming from uh, me. Today guys, we're looking at the 1915, uh, 1915, sorry, wrong year, 1958 Austin Healey Sprite Mark 1. So yeah, like I say guys, this is not a stream. This is just a car review video. So if you enjoy this sort of content guys, feel free to like, share and subscribe. What we do in these videos, we look at the car, we look, well, we look around the car, like at the engine and the boot. We look what we can do to the car, we look at what colours we can paint the car and all that and then once we've done all that we take the car for a drive see what it's like on road, see what it's like off road and then we come back here, we look at the stats we see how much the car costs and then we decide whether to buy it or not or to avoid it but anyway let's crack on and look at the 1958 Austin Healey so starting at the front, the not the lights, the engine, whoa <clears throat> Sorry, I just got to do that again. Wow, that is just amazing. So let's just go inside. Wow, that's the Austin Healey engine. Remember, guys, this is from 1958, so I don't expect the engine to be like, wow. So yeah, that's the uh, engine. So oh, and here is the lights on off. There you go. So moving over towards the passenger side, if I can open the door, thank you. So starting on the passenger side, so looking at the dash is straight in front of the passenger side. That side there guys I will get to when I get to the driver's side. Looking at the dash here, well we've got a nice handle, so that's how we get in and out of the car, but other than that, there's nothing else. Let's actually close the door. Well you've got a nice pocket down the side so you can put your drink or stuff like that down there but you won't need any CDs or anything so but yeah out we get out we get thank you okay and let's close the door okay moving around the back this is where your boot and looks like fuel cap and it looks like that's where your roof well probably where your roof is probably stored I do not have a clue yeah, onto the driver's side. Uh, thank you. So as you can see, plain and simple. So yeah, you've got your fuel gauge or temperature gauge to the left. An analog, what they're called, speedos. Then you've got a nice clock. Then you've got something out. Then you've got your key, your ignition key. Then you've got your horn. This is a manual gearbox, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, the thing is, where's the handbrake? Can't see the handbrake. Unless the H is the handbrake. Don't know. But yeah, she can. Hang on. Nope, the handbrake's down there. So the H is the horn. Uh, but according to here, the horn's there. So I don't know what the H is then. But yeah. Oh, and you've also got like a pocket down the side so the driver can put his drink or anything down there. So yeah, that's a look on the outside of the Austin Healey. So starting at the bottom, which is down here. So front bumpers. You get the Austin Healey stock front bumper, the Forza Horizon front bumper, and you get the Austin Healey removed front bumper, completely removed, which is not helpful. Then you move on to the front anti-roll bars, you've got stock front anti-roll bars, street front anti-roll bars, the sport front anti-roll bars, and then your race at front anti-roll bars. Then back here you've got your chassis reinforcement, so you've got your stock chassis reinforcement and roll cage, street chassis reinforcement and roll cage, sports chassis reinforcement and roll cage, and you've got your race reinforced and roll cage. So you can see it on the back there guys where it just is. So yeah, that's what you can do on that area. Moving around to the side, so we are looking at the wheels now. <coughs> so tyre compounds. So you've got your stock tyres, street tyres, this comes with sports tyres, slick race tyres, horizon slick race tyres, semi-slick race tyres, 
drift tires, off-road tires, off-road race tires, snow tires, drag tires, vintage race tires, and then vintage white wall tires. Pretty cool. And we come through to springs and suspension. Well, springs and dampers. You got your stock spring and dampers, your street spring and dampers, your sport spring and dampers, your drift spring and dampers your off-road spring and dampers, and then your race spring and dampers. Then you come to front wheel width, so 145mm, 165mm, 185mm, and then 195mm. So that changes your tyres at the front, the size of them. Then we come down here to rear tyre width, so you've got the same again, 145mm, 165mm, 185mm, and then 195mm. Then you've got your rims, so you've got stock at Austin Healy rims. Then you've got your... Hang on, let me just go back a second. Yeah, then you've got your sports rims. I say if you go to the Toyota GR Supra, I do actually go through these rims. So let's just scroll through. So yeah, as you can see, well you can see the pictures of them on the side, what they actually are. So There's quite a few uh, sports rims. So yeah, they're your sports rims. Let's go back into your rim style again. Then you've got your multi-piece rim style. So you've got different ones again. There is actually quite a few. So I say, if you've got white, white wall tyres as well, some of these rims actually might work. Yeah, nearly at the bottom. There we go. Then go back into rim style again, go down to specialist rim style. So you have different rims. I'd say some of these would probably fit if you have white wall tyres as well. So pretty nice, pretty nice wheels actually. <laughs> Then moving on, front rim size, so this makes your tyres bigger, well your wheels bigger, so you've got 13 inches, 14 inches, 15 inches, 16 inches, 17 inches and 18 inches. Then over here you've got your rim, rear rim start size, so you've got 13 inches, 14 inches, 15 inches, 16 inches, 17 inches and 18 inches, so even bigger. So that's the wheels. Down here you've got your paint, so we're going to go into the design editor, paint the body. So this car comes with the blue you can see, comes in green, dark green, that kind of blue, pale blue, red, yellow, browny green and a yellowy green. Then you've also got your normal colours, so you can paint the car whatever colour you want. You've got your specialist colours, so you can paint the Austin Healy and special colours as well. So you've got quite a bit here actually. You could even paint it in, like wood if you wanted to. <laughs> then you can paint your bonnet in car colours, like the manufacturer colours. You can paint it in your own specific colour, special colours, which is just crazy. And then that's your previous colours. Mirrors, this car does not have mirrors. Spoiler, this car does not have a spoiler. Rims, so you can paint your rims in your manufacturer colours, normal colours, special colours. So if you wanted to go crazy, and then there's your normal colours. So this car does not have brake pads. This car does not have windows to paint either. So yeah, that's the paint inside. So let's go around the back. 
Okay, number plate guys, if you change your number plate on this car, it'll change your number plate on all your cars you own. So here we've got back customization, so you've got spoilers, or rear wing, Austin Healy, stock rear wing, rear, rear wing, then you've got Forza Horizon rear wing. Then you've got rear bumpers, so you've got Austin Healy stock rear bumpers, and then you've got Austin Healy remove, so every so the bits at the back are removed. Then you've got your rear anti-roll bars, so you've got your stock rear anti-roll bars, your sport rear anti-roll bars, and your race rear anti-roll bars. So yeah, there we go. That's what you can do on the Austin Healy. So before we take this out, let's have a look at its stats, see how much one of these cards will cost you to buy. So, power 45 horsepower, torque 71N, weight 664 kilograms, front 54%, and then displacement 0 0.95. Uh, if you know what that I or L is at the bottom end, guys, please let me know. Ah, that's probably liters actually. And then it's in the D class, it's a rear wheel car and it's 20,000 credits. So, pretty cheap actually. Let's take it for a drive on road and off road and see exactly what it's like. So we will go to the right here. Let's take this one on a different drive. So yeah, I want to class this as like an off road area. Yeah, I would really, if I, well, I bought this car because, well, I just wanted something to just cruise in, really. You know, this car is pretty, pretty nice and easy for, like, cruising and stuff. It's nice to just have an open topper just to cruise. It's, let's say, this really doesn't fit in races. So you can put it into like a car, classic car club or something like that. So if your friends and all that have got a club and you want to do a classic car show or something, then yeah, you can do that. Other than that, I wouldn't really class it as like a proper racing car. I would actually call it as like a classic racing car to be honest. Darko, this isn't a proper stream, this is just a car review to let you know. I say proper stream will be coming after this car review so just letting you know. So yeah, if handles off-road alright but Okay, let's go back to the house and let's do a bit of summing up. Other than that, Darko, I am fine, thank you very much. I say this car's going to be dirty at the end of this run. Which is going to be crazy. Yes, hey Darko, if you go onto my YouTube channel, which links down below in the description, you'll see other car reviews I've done as well. So I've done one on the side to Supra, type to GR Supra from. 2020, the Ford Bronco from 2021, the Audi Avant RS2 from 94, no, the Hoonigan, sorry, Ford Escort from 94, the Audi Avant RS2 from 95, uh, the Audi RS6 Avant from 2015, 
now I'm doing this one. The 1958 Austin Healy Sprite Mark 1. Right, here we are, back at the house. Ah, uh, that was definitely something. Try to hold it through the oh, flag next time. It's not easy. So yeah, there we go. That was a test run, a run around in the Austin Healy 1958. But yeah, for this, because I do all these reviews of everything on Forza Horizon 5, guys, would I recommend this car? Yes or no? Well, for cruising around and classic car clubs, yes, I would recommend it. i say it's a cheap price to buy as well. So, would I say buy it or avoid it? I would say buy it because if you want something classic, something small, something to cruise in, there we go. But yeah, that's it, guys. That's my review on the 1958 Austin Healey. Right, Mark 1, as I say, if you enjoy these reviews and all that sort of thing guys, feel free to like, share and subscribe. I'll put the link to this game down below so you can actually drive around in this car. I'll put some real life informa information on this car as well. But yeah, there you go guys, I will catch you in the next car review. See you later guys.